earth. Our home planet is a wonder in itself. It houses all sorts of living beings, plants, animals, insects, reptiles, birds and of course human beings. We have to fulfill certain primary needs without which our survival is impossible such as food, water and breathing. Breathing or respiration comprises of inhaling and exhaling of air. Air is a mixture of gases such as nitrogen, hydrogen, carbon dioxide and so on. But one important gas that is involved in the inhaling of fresh air is oxygen. Oxygen comprises of 21% of air by volume. The atomic number of oxygen is 8 and its symbol is O. Oxygen is inhaled by human beings, animals, insects, worms, reptiles, and most of the living creatures living on the face of this planet. The movement of oxygen in the oxygen cycle can be seen across various spheres. Oxygen in the atmosphere comes mainly from the process of photosynthesis. What is photosynthesis? Well, in simple terms, it refers to the process where plants prepare their own food. When we get hungry, we go to a restaurant or scan our refrigerator. We do this because we are heterotrophs. Heterotrophs are organisms that get their energy from the foods that they eat. Human beings, animals, parasites like fleas, ticks and tapeworms all come under the category of heterotrophs. But plants cannot go to a restaurant or search for food in the refrigerator. They are autotrophs. They make their own food for which they use the process of photosynthesis. During the process of photosynthesis, plants use sunlight from the sun, carbon dioxide from the air, water gathered by the roots from the soil, and chlorophyll, a pigment present in the cells of the plants. It is because of this pigment, plants get a green color. As the process of photosynthesis goes on, plants take in carbon dioxide. Two atoms of oxygen and one atom of carbon together form one molecule of carbon dioxide. Similarly, water is used by plants for photosynthesis. A water molecule contains two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Plants utilize the hydrogen and carbon molecules and oxygen remains, which they release into the atmosphere. So, oxygen joins the atmosphere as a byproduct of photosynthesis. This oxygen released by the plants is used for respiration by animals and human beings. They, in turn, release carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. This carbon dioxide is utilized by the plants for photosynthesis and the cycle goes on. The vegetation in the biosphere releases about 430 to 470 billion tons of oxygen annually during the process of photosynthesis. Besides, photosynthesis in aquatic vegetation also releases oxygen. There is a large amount of oxygen dissolved in the water of oceans, lakes and streams. As water moves, the oxygen is forced into the solution. The organisms that live in water breathe that oxygen by filtering it out. Over millions of years, oxygen has also become an integral element in our rocks and land. Oxygen bonds with silicon iron and carbon to form many compounds and mineral substances including rocks. Many creatures like lichen are able to break down these rocks over thousands of years and release nutrients into the soil matrix. Apart from photosynthesis, 
Oxygen is associated with certain other processes as well. In the process of photo disassociation, oxygen is released. It is the process of the split of water vapor into hydrogen and oxygen. All living organisms contain oxygen content within them. When living beings die and decompose, the sulfates and nitrates that they contained release oxygen. After the decay of organisms, oxygen present in them returns back to the environment as carbon dioxide and water. The ozone layer in the troposphere is also a contribution of oxygen. Ozone is created with three atoms of oxygen coming together. This ozone layer helps in filtering the harmful UV rays falling on Earth from the Sun. Oxygen is momentous in maintaining the natural balance of Earth. However, due to deforestation and excessive burning of fossil fuels by man, global warming is on the rise. This is decreasing the amount of oxygen on Earth. It is time. We understood the significance of oxygen, one of the predominant sources of life.